shall we leave, gentlemen? I don't know why the fuck I can't delete my old my other video I just made. My, my previous part so I'll have to delete that later. Am I gonna get a boss fight with a fucking bulldozer? Oh, bulldozer in the fucking hotel. Part of it you can. Yeah, like go for that army swinging everywhere. Good enough for me. Cool. This is literally just Persona 5, and I, I'm kind of like. This will be good. I'm not only kind of mid player. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Wow, I did like no fucking damage. That is, that is fucking. Come on, bro. Watch this. You wanna go? Oh, take on the You're world. Gonna be in a world of Get right. I got this! Try this on guys! How can you ever forgive? Yeah? Let's go! <laughs> the excavator was on day. Am I gonna be able to jump in this fucking excavator? Let's do it! Go in it! I'm not going <laughs> Mercy now. As it takes. That is the first time I've seen it. Uh, I think this is. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a part now on mechanic or just this. This last episode. What the heck? Just. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah. I'm just gonna like return to title screen to save the money. Yeah, all, all progress I did will be lost. Cool. I don't care. I'm glad my progress will be lost. I can my fucking yen. Turn the title screen and just reload. And I'm fine. That's it. Just return the title screen. Reload. Oh, yeah. How was all your yen back, dude?
Oh, I think this thing believes it's too hot. Great, now my heater won't fucking go to max mode. It only go. It stays like at a low temp for some fucking reason. It doesn't keep its intensity up. And it's fucking weirding me out, honestly. This thing's probably overheated. So whatever. This isn't gonna run that I'm not fucking I don't give a shit if it ain't gonna run. Wait a minute, hold on. Can I buff up the party in any way? Mercy now. Watch this. You're out there. Now you'll go. That's picking time. Get one meal, bitch. Oh, 
get cocky. Come on now. You're gonna be the world. Here we go. I'm up! Going in! Come in! Just direct his shit. Nice. Oh, Hell yeah! Better Look at me go! Yeah. Not bad, guys, not bad. Weapon. I did not get the crowbar. I thought I got a crowbar, but oh well. Who uses the crowbar? Amber? Get the loot out of these chests here. Should I open it? Got it. Should I open it? Sweet. The last fucking boss arena. Shit. Yeah. Sup? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> First thing we huh? do. What? A shooting. I see your plan. Yeah. dead on arrival after being shot on Seiryu clan turf. It was a bloodbath. And the killers got away before the cops even showed up. Sounds like this isn't over by a long shot. Yeah, 
Even as we speak, Captain Takabe is taking matters into his own hands with a truck full of Yakuza, all armed to the teeth. Doubt Chairman Hoshino even signed off on it. Tetsu, Koji, they'll answer for your deaths in blood. Probably heading straight for Restaurant Row. Yeah, right into Liumang territory. So, Takabe is heading to Restaurant Row. That's right where the Liu Mong boss has his front. He's basically a lit. This is ridiculous. How can it be this easy to destroy a years-long truth? Mabuchi's got everyone dancing to his little tune. And he used us to make sure... At least now we know. I remember his shit-eating... We still don't know why he... Yeah. You're thinking of something, Adachi? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Just... something Mabuchi said. Who cares what that's... Adachi-san. Are you wondering if Nonomiya was killed because of us? What? But we had nothing to do with it. Especially you, Sachan. Yeah, I know it wasn't our fault. It was Mabuchi's. But maybe we were a convenient tool for him to get the war he wanted. I don't know, Sachan. I mean, we weren't even a blip on it. Wait. Wait, I get it now. You do? Listen. On the surface, it makes no sense for him to kill Nonomiya, right? Right. We know his true objective is war with the Seiryu clan. Yeah, that's a given. But he didn't need a reason to start one. He could have just done it. Instead, he used us as an excuse. Why? You tell me, detective. Think about it. If it got out that he was stirring the pot, what would happen? Well, the other organizations would retaliate. Exactly. This is Yokohama, where the Ijin Three have a strict agreement never to invade each other's turf. Anyone who dares break that rule would be punished by all three factions. Even if that person is a Liomong officer, like Mabuchi. So he needed to put the blame on someone besides himself. But why us? Think back to what he said. It all starts to come together. I was actually starting to worry that no one would water the seeds I planted. But then you showed up, and now that seed has blossomed into the most beautiful flower. He was saying that his master plan was complete. Get it? The seed was Nonomiya's death. We watered it by chasing the murderer. And the video he took to show his boys and get them all riled up. That was the blossoming flower? That's what I'm thinking. Also, I don't think he wanted us in particular. He just needed someone, anyone, to want no, no, me. I don't think there was anything special about no, no, What? I think it was chosen only because his shop was on small, which he just needed there to be an untimely death of someone. And anyone who reacted to it would... Su Mia and all of us are the pawns in Mabuchi's scheme, but, I mean, it could have been anyone. At least we're alive. Nonomiya is dead. Yep. Just because Mabuchi needed a roundabout way to start a war. You must have heard the old secret about how to win wars. Force your enemy to act first. God damn it, Itachi-san. You saying all we did... <sighs> yeah. That evil bastard has no way am I gonna let everything go according to his plan! Cool it, Kasuga. Yeah, Mabuchi's obviously a sharp guy. So let's not do any- Fuck that! I'm not standing around- uh, Look, you might believe in that old shit about letting the enemy act, but my on it- He said whoever makes the first move is the victor. The guy with steel balls wins! <laughs> look, you need to chill out. Sachan, it's so funny. We can stop this war. We just gotta tell the Seiryu captain what's going on. For real? You wanna mess around, Namba-san? Would you rather let it happen, and then we get blamed for the whole thing? I'm not down with letting it happen. Nonomiya wouldn't be either, if he were here. Damn it. 
And you would well. All right. Time to go to the survive bar and survive. I've seen it somewhere. No way. No, really. I think I have. Yeah, we definitely know someone who looks like this. Oh, it's a Dachi san. Oh. Well, give me a break. I'm a little more put together than that. Actually, don't you think it looks a little too divine to be a Dachi san? Now that you mention it, yeah. Sorry, a Dachi san. Guess it's not you at all. I'm about to lose it with you two. Shit post energy got me like. <laughs> yes, that's right. Shit post energy. The hangout, aka survive bar. Guy got gotta eat. Hey, Namba. Anything gone down yet with that legend malt? Well, I've been watching the counter like a hawk. But the bartender wasn't kidding when he... Yeah, he did say this was more of a hobby for him. That's exactly it. The only people coming in are our friends. Which means that legend malt is probably just gonna sit behind the counter for the rest of our lives. I was worried over nothing. Well, I don't know if you should be that relaxed about it. It's not like he'd carry something he was never gonna sell. Welcome. Hmm. What a lovely little establishment you have. Your first time in, sir? It is. See? He does get actual customers. First time I've seen a first-timer. I've heard some rumors about this place from some good sources. Oh, yeah? Rumors about what? That you carry the fabled whiskey known as the Legend Malt. Ooh, ah. Uh... Well, then the rumors are true. Pour me a glass, then, bartender. If anyone can appreciate such a thing, it's me. Huh. Hey, Ichiban. What now? What can we do? We gotta apologize before it's time too broke to apologize. Forget about the money! You'll be in even deeper shit if he drinks the- I really must apologize, but my legend malt isn't for sale. Why would that be? Is it reserved for your regulars? Not exactly. I just don't think you're fit to order it. Excuse me? You say this knowing I'm the editor-in-chief of Good Dandy? He's from Good Dandy? No way. I mean, what the hell is that? Dandy? It's a rich man's magazine full of nice cars and swanky restaurants. Well, that's terribly unfortunate. For you, if you had even a modicum of customer service, I'd have written you an absolutely dazzling review. Put me in your magazine, or don't. That's your call to make. Believe you me, I'll be giving you the front page. Everyone's going to know about the snob running this backwater hole. This your idea of a quarrel, sir? Perhaps, but was it not you who flung the first stone? No. Fine. You back me into a corner here. The legend malt on that shelf is something I ordered for a very special customer. I don't intend to offer it to anyone but her. 
And what makes her so special? The fact that she stole my heart. That bottle was to be a symbol of my affection. Time and time again, she would tell me how she dreamt of being able to try it. So I took it upon myself to indulge her and waited for her to arrive. But for as long as I waited, she never came through the door. Six months went by, then a year, until I finally got word that she had been in a car accident. She was taken from me. In some ways, that legend malt is the only thing I have left of her. Oh, given that, are you still... I have walked through the doors of many a bar in my time, but I... That quiet strength, the very essence of good dandy magazine. He's a fucking bro. I want, I want this guy. In <laughs> he didn't even get to take a whiff of the bottle, and now he never will. I guess that settles it. Yeah, but now it's even bigger than we thought. Why? Didn't you hear that story? The legend malted. Uh, I know, but I'll never be able to replace it on pocket. Ch Seriously? Yeah. All I when I should have done is help you do the right thing. Ichiban, you're a good. I can't take advantage of you like that. Ha! <laughs> what a jackass. He swallowed that story hook, line, and sinker. Come again? That long lost love of mine? She never even existed. Then why wouldn't you pour him the legend malt? And back when I opened the place, I figured I'd need some high end stuff behind the counter to draw in the big spenders. So I picked up an empty bottle of Legend Malt and filled it with bargain barrel whiskey. Purely for show. Nobody actually orders anything that expensive. But every once in a while, a dimwit like him waltzes in. So I give them the same old sob story and they <laughs> scatter like roaches. Wait, so Namba, that means what you drank was bottom shelf swill. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Hey, what the hell's so funny? You gotta hear this. Guess what Namba did? Come on, don't say it. Don't you dare. Uh, sir, you can ignore this, Joker. Uh, I don't understand you people. Guess it was the look of that bottle that got me thinking it was real. That ever happened to you? Where the taste is all in your head? Hey, just be grateful you don't have to worry anymore. I still have to worry about people finding out. Ichiban, you wouldn't tell Adachi or Sachan about this. Don't worry, man. I wouldn't rat you out, so you'll keep it a secret. Yeah, but you have to buy me a drink. Bargain barrel whiskey, okay? Sure. It... I like how serious music just starts playing immediately afterwards. All we're just kind of like vibing, just like, ah ha ha, we're sitting here and ha ha ha, it's funny. Ha ha ha. Yo, Adachi san. Hey, 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 Kasuga, let's have a drink. On you? You win the lottery or something? Nah, I'm just feeling good because for once I've got some money left over after sending Takashi his allowance. Bartender, give me something dirt cheap and kerosene strong. I'm glad you were able to get the same here. And look what I got today. It's a letter from Takashi. Good shit. Nope, I was just about to open it. Let's, uh, hope it says something about him passing the... Well, <laughs> let's see what it said. Dear Yamada-san, thank you so much for sending money again this month. <laughs> what, what's, what's with the laugh? <laughs> that name, Yamada-san. Nothing I can do about it now. The kid knows me as a rich fucker named Yamada. Anyway, let me keep reading. I've been pretty busy with this year's bar on the horizon. Hmm. Ooh, so bar exams are coming up, huh? Yep. I'm counting on him to pass this year. Give my wallet a break. What else did he say? I know it's sudden, 
Yamada-san, but I have a favor to ask you. The other day when I was riding my bike, I accidentally scraped the bumper of a parked car. Hmm. Apparently it was a really expensive car, and now the owner is demanding a million yen to cover the repair. I don't have that kind of money, not even close. Yamada-san, do you think I might be able to borrow it from you? I'll promise to pay you back after I become a lawyer. Holy shit. One million to fix a... How, how, how am I supposed to come up? What does Takashi get off asking for such a huge... You say that, but doesn't Takashi... Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true, but shit. What's the real me supposed to do? Well, how about I lend you some money? Hey, well, hey, that'd be great. How much can you lend me? Uh, I can scrape up about 30,000? Uh... Okay, then that leaves 970,000. I uh, <laughs> appreciate the kindness, but it doesn't exactly solve the issue. So, I need one million yen. Shit. Where do I even start? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that hold shit. on. What's shit. up? We were both surprised about the cost. A million is just way too much for a simple bumper fix. Hell yeah. I mean, you can buy a whole car for that much. Cheap one, but still. I'd say there's a pretty good chance this is a scam. A scam? Yeah, some con man probably parked his car on a road that was too narrow, then waited for some poor sucker to come by and scrape the car. Once that happens, the con man throws a fit and guilt trips the victim into paying. Damn. You know, you might be right, as fucked up as that is. And it wouldn't surprise me if Takashi fell for it. I mean, he studies so much, he probably doesn't know much about the real world. And most likely, he knows jack shit about cars as well. So how about this? You meet up with the owner of the car in person. See? Yeah. If we catch him in a lie, this guy will be sorry he ever... <laughs> I like the way you think, Kasi. Happy to help. I'll write Takashi back and ask for the car owner's contact. Yeah. We'll see what's what. Man, I really... Well, we're not out of the woods just... You think I'm There's sorry? some high-end, classier shit cars out there on the road. I mean, limited edition luxury sports cars go for hundreds of millions. And if Takashi-kun really did scrape a car, and it was one of those, then I don't doubt the re- Yeah, but come on, when was the last time you saw a luxury car around here? It's got- what I'm just saying. Ahead of myself, I'm just- Bartender, pour us a couple tall ones. Put it on my tab. Break through the boundary. No, the really like zombies is gonna get drowned up by this like that shit that goes way too fucking hard for no reason other than it goes hard. Yo, suck. Yeah, isn't it pathetic? Sit down. Huh? Well, you could say some. Oh. Well, I'm here if you want to- Can't say I have much experience in this area, but the least I can do is- What are you talking oh, about? Oh, uh, I, I, I figured you were- I don't have a boyfriend. Huh? Really? <laughs> I can't believe you gave me that look and said that. Oh, that cheers me up all by itself. Oh, come on. Why are you making it into such a big deal? What... Yeah, it's my sister, Nanoha. What's going on with her? Something happened? Remind me, how much did I tell you about my family while- You said you were too controlling when it came to Nanoha. And did I tell you- Yeah, it was because you told Nanoha to break up with the boyfriend. Okay, so I spilled all the beans. <laughs> anyway, his name's caught Suragawa, and apparently they're still together. Damn. Long if he wasn't so damn annoying, I might let this go. But Katsuragawa's a criminal. He's even been seen going in, not to mention he's dangerous and walks around with his own personal posse. He used to run with a bike. I mean, I've heard nothing but... <laughs> Shut up. Trying really... Ah, uh, so that, that's... Yeah, well. <laughs> now that I've talked to you about it, I... Oh, let's not start talking crazy now. <laughs>
Welcome to die. Alright, good shit. Um, He's like humping a fucking wall now. Oh yeah, let me just like open the door, shuts it, start running at Mach 5. I need to do shots. Lightning pack. Bat. Hero. This thing is literally a downgrade in every fucking way possible. Like, holy shit, this thing is so fucking bad. 
Which, honestly, if I knew that, I don't think I would have too much of an issue. I'm sure you'll do great. Can I help you? Taxi up my style, man. So just taxi around over you automatically up your fucking style in kind of a sad but funny way. A sad ha, -ha. Like a sad like, oh, that's pathetic, but like a sad ha ha, you know, it's pretty cool. I have it up my style kind of way. Dabasan's trench coat. Right. Weak. Cool. Come on now. You're gonna be a Yeah. Take your best shot. Oh, Have fun with this. Go, I'm up. You're gonna get stuck. I got this. Going in. Got that. Sweet.
Yo. Oh shit, there's a whole area I didn't know you uh -huh. I like how the whole gang strikes up right. close. Yeah. 
demoralize the shit out of Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want prize? Oh, I'm beyond pissed right now. Quiz off. Should I open it? Got it! Professional's bliss. I gotta tell him that the chef is. That's Takabe! Hey! Hold on! <clears throat> Kasuga, why the hell are you here? Wait, his pistol switch from Because you're getting to played, man! <sighs> and the player is Laoma! You know, Mabuchi! 
He killed the owner of Otohime Land and made it look like a suicide. This woman heard it happen over the phone with her own ears. I did. I heard a struggle and men shouting, Lauma. Which gave us a lead we followed to Mabuchi's trading company. We got jobs working at the Leo Mong warehouse. And then you were captured, and apparently you claimed you were Seiryu spies. Mabuchi sent it to me. He's using that video to start a war. We never claimed to be Seiryu. In fact, I told him over and over again we're not. I think he even believed me, but he didn't give a shit. I know that doesn't make sense, but I'll explain. As long as he pretends to think that we're Seiryu, he can claim he was just defending himself against an attack from your clan. Um. It's all a bunch of bullshit to start a war. He's planting fake evidence that the Seiryu clan broke the rules of the truce. Don't you see? If you fight him, you're playing right into his hand. <sighs> yeah, I know all that. Huh? Don't worry. I'll take Mabuchi down. Once I've eliminated all my other enemies. But... What I'm trying to say is... I mean, don't you want to avoid... I'm fine with starting a war. What? I'll take a war. For the sake of Tetsu and Kochi. They were two young recruits. Just boys, really. Boys who, in the end, had more bullets in them than Gears of Life. Mabuchi was there when they were murdered. But it wasn't just him. Seven Leomong bastards unloaded their clips on two unarmed kids. <coughs> Here we are, outside the restaurant owned by the Leomong boss. Because I need an explanation for Tetsu and Kochi's death. The souls of those boys demand an apology. If that's all you want from him, why'd you bring the guns? Good point. I better make use of mine. Takabe-san, we're not armed. So? So you know you can't just shoot us. There's no honor in that. And you have no reason to kill us anyway. Am I wrong? If so, tell me your reason for shooting me. <clears throat> if you shoot me, you bring shame to the entire Seiryu clan. Tetsu and Koji's deaths would be overshadowed by yet another unjust killing. <clears throat> I know words alone won't make you back down. That's not your style. But I ain't the type to back down either. If you want to kill me, you better do it in one shot. Why is that? Because if you miss, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I think that rat's nest of hair is smothering your brain. You are stupid. Dangerously annoying me and my crew. You're off your shirt, By the dude. way, I'm sorry I'm making a commotion in somebody else's house. But I accept the consequences. We'll fight, as long as there are no guns. Kasuga, shut up and fight! Mm. Fair enough. You've made it great. Let's do it! Get ready! Here we go! I will get caught! Get serious. This out! We're in this together, guys! Get it done! Who do I call? You're gonna Those get stuck! Stop. Stop. <laughs> 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 no, no way!
fun with this. I'm not that. I'm burning me. I'm being put on fire. What do I say? Enough of this. Take your best shot. We got a problem. The boss from the restaurant is the here. The boss? You know. Chao. Leader of the Yokohama Liu. So he's the top. He could be the reason Mabuchi's pulling all this shit. Including the. You know, Mabuchi sent me an interesting video. Yeah. You're the star in it, aren't you? I can believe the dumb part. I'm told you tried to steal this. I know you're with the Seiryu clan. Yeah! You're damn straight! They edited the damn video! I'm not with the Seiryu clan! Oh, you're not, are you? Then why the hell would you be tailing Mabuchi in the first place? Because... <laughs> Careful now. No lies. Hey, stop! Uh, uh... Choose some quick, wise words now. I'm a busy man. It's exactly what Kasuka said. Our boss was killed, and we followed the clues to Mabuchi. Yeah, this whole thing is Mabuchi's fault. He used us to pin a false accusation on the Seiryu clan. 
So you're laying all of this at Mabuchi's feet. You're basically slandering my right hand man right now, you know? Hard to believe he can suddenly go to. rogue on me. And he's just as busy as I am. Not the type of guy with time to scheme. He's only busy because he's trying to start wars. Don't you get it? I mean, isn't it a little weird that your right-hand man is nowhere in sight? Have you even talked to him since you saw that video? It's like... Oh. That's a good point, Zhao-san. If you don't know where Mabuchi is, doesn't that make you look bad? Excuse me? Uh, think about it. If Mabuchi ain't answering his own boss's calls, could that mean he was fanning the flames of war? And now he's holed up somewhere waiting to watch it burn? He hasn't just gone rogue. He's betrayed you. Did I walk out into a fucking sermon? Call it whatever you want. As long as you get it through your head, we're not to blame here. And deep down, you know that. Did you think that sounded cool, Grandpa? You're shit at this. <clears throat> You know, I wouldn't mind killing all of you right here, right now. Everyone who played a role in this sorry story dies right down to the captain. I'd say that's a textbook opening move for a war. Well, stop talking about it and do it then. Fuck Mabuchi! He gunned down two young Serio clan boys in cold blood. So as far as I'm concerned. This war has already begun. Hey, shut up, both of you! You guys really think a war is the way to go? You think that'll turn out well? Don't be stupid. You can stop this. Or do you like being Mabuchi's little pawns? Was I not clear? I don't like sermons. Well, that's not what I'm calling it. Consider it a formal complaint. And a real leader ought to shut up and listen when there's a complaint. <laughs> oh, should I, huh? Dude, this Ichiban man's English voice Kasuka. acting is fucking god too. Wasn't it? Yeah. They couldn't get something from my Okay. Mind. Good. I'm all ears. But first, I want you to answer a question. Shoot. Why would Manuji try to start a war in Ijincho in the first place? How in the goddamn world does that benefit him? How the fuck should I know? What a surprise. And in regards to that soap land owner, do you know for sure that Mabuchi killed him? Yeah, he straight up told me when I asked him. Oh. Well, I'm not buying it. Which means this discussion's over. Look, man, I saw it in his eyes. That dude's a murderer! Raising your voice isn't gonna make me change my mind. Wait! Shooting him drags us all into a war, while Mabuchi watches somewhere safe and sound! Is that what you want? What would that even accomplish? You'll kill a man without even knowing that? I'll say it as many times as it takes, Zhao! Mabuchi planned all of this, and he's out there laughing in the shadows! If you start this war, your whole organization will be stained with that forever! Look, <laughs> Kasuga-kun, I don't think you're lying, shit. I think you'd be terrible at it. Hmm. But just because you're not lying doesn't mean it's true. I need proof before I act. I gotta think like a leader, right? And that means setting a fucking example. At the very least, I need evidence that Mabuchi killed the soap landowner. That's where the whole thing started, after all. According to you. Mm -hmm. So she heard Lao Ma over the phone. That's all you got. Isn't that enough? Hell no, it's not. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm not really sure I want to get them involved. Who's them? There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh. 
The web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komiju. 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 I don't even fucking know. Chapter 7 Ignition. Accomplished. Yay. I beat a chapter. Whoa, that was a really kind of a short chapter right there. The spider's web. Alright, I'm done. I'm done for right now. I'm getting off. Alright, I'm going to bed.